Hello fellow renegades, it's James here, and this is a quest walkthrough for the new quest lines that have become available with the Venture 3 update which continues the story in Hawked, and in this walkthrough I'm going to be focusing on the Nelly quest lines. Bear in mind, you can only do these once you've completed the previous quest chain, which ends with the ritual at the Glyphstone. Now, Nelly's quest is called Unfamiliar Territory, and this is all about her facing her fears by killing killing more and more difficult and rarer and rarer disciples in order to successfully face her fears and become a champion, and you help her do that. So let's get into it. Quest number one in Nelly's unfamiliar territory questline is she wants you to kill 10 croakers. That is a very straightforward and very simple quest. Croakers are one of the two most basic disciples you can find on Exile. They are those nasty guys that always go for a distance and then spit green acid at you from far away. All you have to do is kill 10 of those to complete the quest. Once you've completed this quest, you must return to the Riftwake, so that's the lobby, talk to Nelly once more and she will give you the second quest. So the second quest asks you to kill three fanatics. They buff the other disciples in their group by shielding them as well as healing them. Now for this quest and all other quests that Nelly will give you, it is best to find the big spots around the map like the raiding portal, cursed tombs, feeding grounds, Gar Harbor, Marsh Hollow, you know the parts where you can find treasuries because those are the biggest areas that have the most amount of disciple groups and the highest chance of finding the rare disciple species which you will need for this and all future quests. All you have to do is find those fanatics, kill three of them, and then quest number two will be completed as well. Head back to the Riftwake once more and talk to Nelly again. For the third quest, she will ask you to kill a knucklehead. Knuckleheads are those big blue guys that charge at you and they always have a small purple shroud basket sit on top of them that throws some kind of goo at you and really slows you down. Those are probably the most difficult and annoying enemies to kill. They are also the rarest to find, but typically your best bet is to go to one of the big areas where treasuries are hidden. So much like the fanatics, go to the cursed tombs, feeding grounds, the Gar Harbor, raiding portal. Often at the entrance to those big areas you will find a knucklehead. Now once you've killed your first knucklehead the quest will automatically update so you do not have to return to the uh, Riftwick to talk to Lely and you will now have to kill a second knucklehead. After you kill the second knucklehead there is another update to the quest and you have to kill a third knucklehead. So rinse and repeat, right? Now it took me multiple rounds in exile to actually get each knucklehead. I only found one per round so it took me three rounds to find three different knuckleheads because I had such a hard time finding knuckleheads. Um, what I did was essentially I killed one knucklehead per round on exile at a very specific spot in front of the raiding portal area because there, there's a knucklehead that is guaranteed to spawn there every single time. So what I did is simply I remember that spot and I always headed there every single round because generally I couldn't find a second knucklehead in one round. After you've killed your third knucklehead, the quest will update once more, and this time Nelly was actually defeated by one of those knuckleheads, and you'll have to revive her at a very specific revival shrine. There'll be an exclamation mark on your map which shows you exactly which revival shrine you have to head to in order to revive Nelly successfully. If you do that, you simply stand in the, this crystal formation in the pool of water, much like you would if you play squads to revive your squad mates, and Nelly will revive. She'll then teleport back to the Riftwake and you do the same. Once you're done with your round and you're back on the Riftwake, talk to Nelly and you will have successfully completed her quest chain. If you want a quick walkthrough for the quest lines for Bodhi or Bjorn, I have made videos on those as well in order for you to quickly and easily get those done. You can check those out and get those done as well. Thank you guys, hope this was helpful, I'll see you soon.